This is Michael Good from ReaperTrades.com with a quick trade recap on September 18th, 2009. This is UF5 pre-leader. I bought it right here as it broke above its highs for the day at 338. I sold it as it came off its highs at 340 just to lock in uh, a profit, even though it wasn't really much of a profit. Uh, it then dropped that back down, and it would have been another decent shot buying it as it broke its earlier highs right about here. And that would have actually been a decent trade. Mine just wasn't that great. But still, it happens sometimes. Trading is probabilistic. Even if it's a good trade, you don't always win. You don't always make big bucks. So other trades, LFBG. This is a true penny stock. I bought it because it showed some strength right here. Tried selling it right here and didn't actually execute till right here. So that's the problem with trading OTC and pink sheets, is that your executions are horrible. Then I also had a trade on Arna that, ah, oh, I, I sort of blew this one. Bought it on green when it went from red to green right here at 492, uh, 4.925 with the commission. And I sold it right here at 4.93. It, you don't even see the print, but it did briefly skip down to 4.93, and didn't go lower than that. And then it made some huge new highs. So if I'd only had my uh, stop a uh, couple cents lower, it was a mental stop. But still, if I'd only had my mental stop a couple cents lower, I would have made a nice profit on this. Uh, my tendency is to want to protect a profit or at least avoid a loss which is not the right way to think of it. The key is to use these inflection points, uh, support resistance, as your stop. So if I had used the green-red as my stop, I wouldn't have sold until it went, signif well, not significantly, but definitively uh, red after having already gone green. So if it went down to, say, like 490 or so, or even 489. But I didn't do that. And uh, I lost out on what would have been a nice trade because of that. Then my big loss, SPDE. My uh, profit was at, or loss was actually about 9.05. I sold 200 of my 3,000 shares last night, and after I was trading, sold a couple hundred pre-market, and I was right to get out right around 6.70 right after it opened because it was all downhill from there. So that was just a non-ideal trade if you look at my. Uh, watch list from last night. Ideally, if you hold something overnight looking for a gap, you want it to show a lot of strength into the close. So I, I shouldn't have played that, played this the second time. So that's it for the re recap. Check me out next time. ReaperTrades.com.